Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Um, so I just wanted to share super fast, hopefully super fast. I always say super fast and then it's like forever long, but it's actually 1120 at night. So I'm getting ready for bed, but this arrived in my box today. It's my Hade. So I snipped the top, but I didn't take it out. Look at all that yumminess in there. Crinkle, crinkle, good stuff. Okay. So I wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you order an entire kitted up kit from Hade. And I'll get to that in a minute, but I don't want to lose all the pieces. Okay. So let me start by pulling this out. So of course you get your invoice. I won't share that with you, but you get your invoice and you get your chart. Look at it. I'm super excited. Okay. So this one's called Mother of Dragon, and I, I order it in large format because the eyeballs. Um, this chart design was by Michelle, and I'm so sorry if I butcher names because I am good at that. Sayetta? Artwork by Alexandria Alex... Whoa, pause. Alexandra V. Bach. I think it could be wrong so I'll just try to hopefully not too much glare there we go and there she is in all of her gorgeousness and the stitch count on that is 700 by 466 because my other Hade it's not big enough, but that's okay. This one's actually a little bit smaller, believe it or not. My other one is 550 by 770, I think. Something like that. So 700 by 466 is way doable. I cannot wait to see this one come to life. Okay, I have to stop staring at it. So then let's go with, let's go with this little pack right here. So it comes in a little... So I ordered the easy count 18 count fabric and it's 45 by 32. And that's the cute little design there. I love their picture there. Okay. And it comes with the instructions right on the little bag on how to get rid of your grid lines. I don't think I need to worry about that though because my coverage on my other Hade is covering the grid lines up perfectly. I freaking love this tissue paper. I, I kind of want to find out if there's a way that I can just order this tissue paper by itself because I want to use it in like my mixed media journals or possibly on like thank you cards or I don't know. So I'm very, very, very careful with the tissue paper. This might drive some people crazy and I'm sorry, but... I just want to mod podge it onto everything because I just think it's gorgeous. Okay, almost done, I promise. Scissors are over there. Here's your tissue paper, dragonflies. Isn't that pretty? It's very simple, but it's very pretty. Oh, and I missed a spot. Well, okay, we're just gonna rip that because I didn't realize I missed it until I ripped it. It almost reminds me of like the pattern when you buy a pattern to like make a dress or whatever, that's the feel of the paper. So I wrap this all nice back up and I save it because I'm a nerd, but I'm gonna use it at some point, I promise. So that goes there. There's my easy grid. So it comes like this, all nicely folded up. Not as thick as my last one. My last one had like 10 folds to it. But this is what it comes like, and it's surged, which is nice. Okay. I'm not going to, obviously, I'm not going to be able to show you the, let's go this way. Okay. So um, my arms are not quite expanded. I'm super excited. And let's just unwrap, oh, this bad boy. Okay. So this is about my arm length. My elbows are bent in. Sorry if you can hear, it's pulling against the bag. 
don't kiss your stuff. So there's that. Okay, let's see if I can be smarter than the fabric. Sometimes it's not easy. It's also almost midnight. Had a very long day. I waited until about one o'clock-ish for this package to arrive, and then when it arrived, we took off because we had to go do the grocery shopping and the adulting stuff. So there's your beautiful fabric. I love, if I could use this type of fabric for everything, I would because it's pretty gridded, and I love that stuff. Okay. And then, I love this. Oh, it's black and orange. That's perfect for Halloween. So you get a cute little bag, and in this little bag, you get a wooden needle holder, and my, I don't know what that other thing, oh, okay, light bulb just clicked. And in this, you get one needle, and I think this is a 28, I think is what they give you. So I have one of these already, and that holds all my other needles. And then this little thing, super cute, and they, I think they hand, oh, that's pretty. I think they, I don't know if these are handmade. I do, I'll have to look at the website again. This is your needle threader. So you slide your needle onto this little metal, sorry, I'm not trying to give you the bird, onto this little metal piece, and you just, this stick back here, what I've learned, let's see. So the stick back there, I've learned, is just to guide your needle, because I had a lot of questions about this when I first got my first one. And you take, let's see, can we focus? Not on my face. Can you focus on what I'm doing here? No. Okay. Anyways. So I don't know if you guys can. We're just going to keep trying, right? Let's see. Can I dim it down again like I did last time? Will that work? Okay. No. Sorry. I'm trying for you. Anyways. You put it. Can you see the little wire moving? That goes inside your eye and then you can. This is flexible. So you just push that and your needle can go as far as you need it to. You put your thread through and pop it right off and your needle's threaded. I love these and this one's really pretty. It's very green, it's got gold going through it. Okay, let's see. Let's refocus that, stick that back in my donut. So I'm very excited to have another one of these, actually. Let's shove it back in here so it's a little more protected because I will not use this one until I do this aid. I'll keep using my other one, which has a little like flower on it. And it's just a little drawstring bag and it's super cute and I love it. Okay, the best ones. Are you guys ready? I don't think there's anything else in there. No, it's an empty bag and it's gorgeous. This, this is gorgeous. It's all your flosses. Oh. And 310. Because, as you saw from the picture, there's, there's going to be a lot of 310. <laughs> and that's okay. So, that comes out of the bag. This really cute ribbon that is holding all your, tie, your things together. Let me set this over here for just a moment. I don't want to mess it up. That cute ribbon. It says Heaven and Earth Designs. So it's upside down. Sorry. Super cute. So I'm, I save the ribbons because I'm a dork. And my game plan is, is to do a mixed media page when the cross stitch photo is done. And then use these as accents when I do an art journal about them. And use a picture or something. Or if I scrapbook it or whatever. So they put them in numerical order for you. <gasps> Are those the new DMC numbers? 8, 13, 4, 19, 21. I'm going to have to look that up. Did I really get new DMC numbers? That's exciting. Okay. Sorry. I have to stop looking at that. I'm going to have to look that up later. You guys can tell me. So they come on these rings. And they're super soft. And they're so pretty. And this, this number right here is like my arch nemesis right now. 317. Only because that color right now... Wait, yeah, this huge thing right here is about half of, whoa, 
Oh, okay. I see what happened. I realized that one was empty and I freaked out, but that's my 310. So this number right here is the one that I'm staring at right now on my other hade. 317. But let's get back to this. So you get them all on cards. They give you your symbol. They tell you your pattern, which is important. They tell you your pattern, your symbol, and your DMC number. And then they're all on these rings. Okay? And like I said, they come in order. So I have one, two, three. Look at those colors. You know, for that looking like almost like a black and white photo, there's a lot of yellows and bright blues and reds and three. Ooh, look at that green. What number is that? 954. I don't think I've ever worked. Now I'm new, so I haven't worked with a lot of these numbers. Here's four. Here's five. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. Six. And seven. So there's the end of it. So over here on the end where it's blank, I will take my three. Oh my gosh, I have four. Four of them. I have. That's a lot. So I will take the other three and hook them on where there's no numbers because I'll remember that that's 310. And then I'll take the one 310 and hook it where it's empty. So let's get this ready to be kitted up because it's gorgeous. So here's my, here's what I do. Now I'm only sharing this because like I said before, I tried looking this up to see how people did it on YouTube and I really couldn't find any videos. So I don't know if this will help somebody, but if it does, my purpose has been met. I purchased these binders from Walmart, and I bought this one when it was on clearance. Um, I think I got it for like seven bucks. It's the Dual 2.0. Oh, geez. And I already snip snipped, so that's done. And it's really awesome. It comes with like this huge pocket in the front. So if you're traveling, you throw your scissors in there. You take this thing and put it in there so you have your needle minder and your needles you can put your fabric in there I mean it's awesome and then which way do I need to hold this this way All right yeah so you get a pocket on the side over here you get a little file folder okay and that's you can put your pattern in there you probably fit your fabric in there to be honest you get a strap so you can hold it like a suitcase and then you get another like folder type thing over here okay so what I do is I take those guys out those guys just come right out take all the goodies out and I actually use this for any other patterns that I may have like right now I have one in there that I just got from a beautiful young woman named Michelle Bendy Stitchy if you don't follow her okay and I just set those off to the side and I take this and I stick it right in here. That's what I do with it. So that way I don't lose it because I'm the type of person who will put something in a safe spot and then I can't remember where that safe spot is. So here we are. We're open. Those things are all open. Hang out for a minute. And I have seven cards, we said. So we said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So we have seven cards. So I take this guy because I know this lines up. And I hold it up to here. And let's just grab, let's see if I can do this without knocking stuff over. I grab this guy over here and I put it on top so that way I make sure I'm not writing over any, making sure my binder's not falling over. Not writing over, and over any numbers or anything like that or any information. I try to line it up. It's never perfect, but that's cool. Not worried about it. And I just do my little dots. Okay, that's done. That's the only time you need this. And I, there goes my binder. I usually do the one that has the least amount of car, uh, floss on it because that way it's not so hard to handle. And then, okay, I pulled them out so that way I would be ready and then I laid everything on top of that. There we go. One hole punch and just go through. 
and I actually made that too high, so I'm just going to try to line it up and bring it down lower. That's fine. No big. No one's going to yell at me because I did it imperfect. So that's close enough. So as you can see, my dots are down here. That's fine. And then I will take the next one, lay this on top. Try not to confuse myself because very easily done. And just line it up. Whoops. I have very, very weak hands, so some days are better than others. That one wasn't too bad. Okay, and on that note, so I don't confuse myself. Because this one has the least amount, I will usually put four on one side and three on the other. And I just hook them in there. Okay. I have no real safe. I'll just put it on top of my other one for now. And this one goes on top of this one. And just line them up. Whoops. Button time. Does anybody else do that? My son does that. Or you stick your tongue out when you're trying to concentrate on something. This one is the next card, so we'll just lay that right in there. And we'll just keep going. So I've watched like a lot of people I know like bobinate. And I bobinated my first one, which I thought was a good plan, and then it kinda it's kinda turning into a mess. But these ones I'm not going to bobinate. I'm just going to leave these as they are. And, um, because I did see on one video, there is, there was a person that I watched, and she just snips at the bottom right here. And I tried that on one of mine, and that does not work for me. And that's okay. If it works for her, that's great. But it's not, it's not my jam. Um, it doesn't work for me. So my game plan is to like if I need this color I'll just take it all off I will pull out what I need wrap it back on and then work with what I need that's my game plan because that bobbinating like cramped my hands for days I mean this is a lot of floss and I'm the type of person that when I get super excited about something I, I can't stop so unclipping these things and trying to put the bobbins on there really hurt because I could not stop until I was done so just making sure I'm keeping them in order and that's card four so I will close that up maybe Oop, that one's a little tight but that's all right it's all good it'll still move one two three perfect so then we'll do this one like I said, I just wanted to share my process because I couldn't find anyone else who did it. Um, so, hope that's okay. Last one, guys. Last one. And I'm pretty much kitted up and ready to go. Like, I'm super excited. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to fit this into my routine, but we're going to make this work. I'm going to work on two hades at once. And then I'm going to, um, Joann's show that they were having the too low to show pricing on their DMC on November 8th. So if you guys are looking for a sale, Joann's. I'll snip that shut. And here's what it looks like. So it kind of looks like chaos. I know. But it's organized chaos so I just need to so I look up my and usually what I do is I put my um, charts I'm trying to think of what I'm trying to say so this guy he just pull that out before I actually I snip those a little too tight but that's okay I can just re-snip a little bit over and then that way it'll work let me grab those off to the side for right now this can hang out over here let me grab my chart. So with the chart, I can never find the, there we go. 
pull that guy out. Okay. Let's go over there. With your chart, you get your DMC listing. Okay. And I keep that up to the side. Where's the... Oh yeah, duh, it's right here. Right in front of my face. So right here, it gives you the color, the symbol, how many strands to use, the type, what number, and what the name color is. And this gets hole punched, and then I just put it in my front. It's, okay, I wanna make sure I wasn't showing you the chart. So, that's this page, this page, and this page. And then the next three pages tell me how many stitches I need for each color. So just out of curiosity, because I'm crazy. 310 is 104,659 stitches. Ninety-nine percent sure that's my highest count. Mm -hmm. That's my highest count. So I take these guys. Ooh, oh, good, my camera was low enough. I wasn't showing off the chart. I take these guys, and then yeah. I had a three hole puncher this would be easier and I have one somewhere I just don't know where it's at but it's all good Where's that one? let's just attempt I know I said this was tight but that's okay it's all good oops oh nope I'm hooked okay where it belongs. And this guy come over here. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. Set that. And so I just keep those right at the front. So if I can't find the symbol quick enough flipping through these, I'll go to these, the paper, because these are obviously easier and quicker to flip through then trying to flip through all of these to try to figure out where I'm at. And then to close it up, I just pull it. And of course I made them a little too tight because I'm on camera and that's, you know, the best way to do things. Now it's not going to cooperate. My other one works beautifully, I promise. Okay. So pull these out. Shake them straight. Just like so. Make sure everything's kind of... You get to play with your flosses. And then lay this guy down. And just kind of gently and nicely tuck them in there. Make sure all of them are friends. And then use it. Because I have a cat, and her name is Smart, and she loves string. I secretly think she has a problem, and she's kind of an addict, and she just doesn't want to admit it. But I think she has a problem. So, that's it. That's it. It's really that simple. It's awesome. So, oops. And then if you wanted to, you could like unzip and see your stuff, but there's an extra zipper there. So, that's how I kit up my haids. That's it. I'm gonna have to repunch these to make these a little bit easier, but I promise this is not, it's not that kind of thing. Okay. This beautiful thing. is going to go right here and I'll pull it out and as I go through it I'll just take this front page and move it to the back and this front page and move it to the back so on and so forth. I can take this and this because <laughs> we're going to prove to be difficult today because I was very excited to show you my method and now my method is going to show that it doesn't work but I promise you it does it works beautifully. I really do enjoy it. Shake that down. Close that 
up. And I think my fabric and my needle holder and all that is just going to go right in here. And the nice thing is, is I can keep reusing it because I highly doubt that if and when, no, no, let, let's not say if, when, when I finish these haids, chances are I'm probably going to order more. Or I'll have other big kits. But there you go, guys. That's it. That's how I, I keep my haids under control. That's how I do it. I don't have project bags. Because I haven't fallen down that rabbit hole yet. And I say yet because they've been very tempting. But that's how I do my hades. And of course this isn't going to stay closed because nothing works when you do it on a video. That's it. That's the hade. That's the unboxing. I hope you guys had a fun time hanging out with me. Maybe learned a different way of storing like a really, really big project. Or as a BAP as we refer them maybe this will work for somebody maybe it won't maybe it just works for me and that's okay too whatever works for you we have to do us right right all right thanks for hanging out with me i hope you guys are as, as excited as i am about this hade because i'm working on another one called dragonkin and um this one's been calling my name since one o'clock this afternoon when it arrived on my doorstep well in my mailbox all right, I'll see you guys next time.